Today I wanted to do some uh, mist fishing testing in the yellow zones. We are using a tier 6 fishing set. And uh, I already ate a pork pie because I've had to reshoot this twice due to um, things popping up and distracting me. But uh, we got 25 minutes on the clock. I'm going to go ahead and start. We have some fish already here. And let's begin. We're at 615,000 worth. Let's see how much it is after this. I am only fishing in the fishing holes and preferably only in the mist. So let's begin. And we're fishing, and we're doing some fishing, but it is so easy to get distracted in the mists, guys. I can't stress this enough. There's, like, people running up being like, oh, yeah, I watch all your videos. There's, uh, you know, there's just so many different little fishy holes. There's way too many fishing holes in the mists. I think it's kind of imbalanced. I think fishermen are going to heavily profit from this. It is wild. There's, uh, there's a lot going on, and I get a little distracted, so this is not the most accurate video. Uh, but, you know, let's have a little break for a sec. Holy crap, guys. You can catch Avalonian fish in the mists. Really? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Sure. But another interesting thing, too, is in a tier 5 yellow zone, mist zone, if it's a legendary mist zone, it is considered a tier 7 zone. What this means is you can fish tier 7 Avalonian fish using a full 8.3 set, completely safe with zero risk if you find one in a yellow zone. That is insane, that's insane money, that's over a million per hour easy mode. Sorry guys, I have to, I have to know. This is a yellow zone, it's also an epic zone, which means it's technically tier 6 mobs. We might be able to get tier 6 fish, but I have to see how much rescuing the wisp is worth, and if it gets might and, and honor, fame, favor, whatever it's called, okay? The, the black zone currency. If it does, oh dude, oh man, it's gonna be dirty. I don't think it will. There's no reason for it to, because it's not a black zone. It shouldn't. Because, let's see the rewards, okay? We're gonna turn in a wisp in an, ep in an epic zone. Yeah, okay, it's just fame and, uh, and rep, so it's whatever. Uh, which is a good thing. It, it really shouldn't give you might and favor. That would be really stupid. So I was just checking, and yes, I know that hurts our fishing, but hey, we're in a tier 6 zone now. Oh, that juicy tree. Oh, I don't have an axe with me. How much do these give in a yellow zone? I, I don't know. I've never been in an epic yellow. Okay, 2,000 fame on the mob, whatever. 6,000. That sucks. It's it's okay for the for the, the rep, but you're going to max your rep really quick anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped to catch some tier 6 fish. Let's see if we catch. Oops, too far. Let's see if we catch any. More fishing. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we are in an epic uh, yellow zone now. This means it is a tier 6 zone, so we're catching tier 6 fish and tier 6 abalonian fish, so that helps out. Uh, unfortunately, the real money doesn't hit until you start doing tier 7. Now, I did forget to bring a bunch of journals for this, so we're not really going to go with journal fame calculation money making stuffs. All right, so I know my food buff just ran out, but, you know, uh, we can go five more minutes. And uh, because this portal closes in five minutes, also it's really storming in my area, so my power could go out and this entire video could be lost. So I'm going to risk it, and uh, we're going to do five more minutes of fishing. Uh, hello? Hello, game? There we go. Okay, cool. Has anyone else been getting weird crashes lately since the patch? Like, I have had my game just completely randomly, immediately, instantly close out. I've also had my computer crash a few times, and one of those times, it like deep fried the images. Like it took the images and made them super bright and dark and saturated. It was super creepy. Like, I don't know. It was just like my computer's cursed or something, but I, I don't know, man. Okay, that is um, 30 minutes of fishing, just about, kind of, sort of. Not exactly. Remember, we had 615,000 and now we're at 835,000. Uh, and that's without really being efficient with journals. I mean, I filled the tier 3 one earlier uh, So yeah, I could have I should have brought more journals, whatever. It's fine um, But hey, that, not bad. That's like a uh, 215,000 um, 400 something thousand an hour for fishing and also remember you can <laughs> Apparently you can fish Avalonian fish in the damn mists but also the cool thing about yellow zones is if you find a legendary wisp that is a tier 7 yellow zone, so you can you can fish tier 7 Avalonian fish completely safe with no risk. That's insane. Now, if someone does gank you in a yellow zone mist, you get kicked out. 
So beware of that. Uh, you don't get kneeled down for three minutes. You get kicked out of it. All right. So um, yeah. Um, if you if you find a legendary mist thingy, freaking go fish it, man. Because uh, the the mists are literally chock full of fishies. Okay. Like there is, and it's really quick to peek. Let me show you. Like, like I'm gonna jump in here real quick, and um, if there's no water or very little amounts of water, I just leave, and I can go find another mist really quick. So you can see there's three pools of water. They're kind of they're kind of far away from each other. Uh, this thing will be open for 15 more seconds. I could just leave immediately on it if I want, or I can run over here and check. And like this area, not the most plentiful. You want the ones with the rivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave. And there you go. It only took a few seconds to check. But, oh man, they are just loaded with fish, whereas if you fish in a regular yellow zone, you're not going to find hardly any fish. Like, uh, what is the next zone over for me? Um, uh, what is this? Yeah, that's a river area, but it's you're not going to find as nearly as many fishies, dude. I'm telling you, it's if you're a fisherman, now's your time to shine because uh, the mists, I hear them. The mists are great for fishing. It's not so great for the other gathering professions because the nodes are all one out of five and spread out everywhere. But for fishing, oh man, it's, it is a fisherman's dream. This is the time, this is the patch to go fishing. And uh, I'm not saying fishing is the most, like, you see, this is a good one because you're surrounded by rivers. There we are, I'm at the top. And let me just show you, like, like there's a mining outpost uh, right down here and, uh, <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go, I'm, I'm just gonna go show you how sporadic and crappy it is, okay? It is like, they're all gonna have, like, they're all gonna be gone. I guess, well, I can't really show you because I don't have a mining pick. So I can't really tap them to show you that they're one out of five. So you'll just have to take my word for it. But look, there's just so many fish everywhere. This is, this is just great for fishermen. Just come here, level up your fishing, you know, fish, sell your fish. Um, I have noticed fish prices dropping lately. I don't know what the case is. Maybe it's the new wave of bots that have been hitting up the game. I'm not entirely sure, but... I don't know. The fact that you can get the, the Avalonian fish, that's going to be huge. If you find a legendary, man, you're going to be making a lot of bank. Probably a million an hour if you can maintain legendary status in one. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Um... 400k an hour for fishing in a safe zone, not bad. It's not the best. Okay, it's better than stone mining, okay? It's not really better than tree chopping. It's not better than skinning. Uh, it's, yeah, it's... But hey, it's better than it used to be. So it's at least gotten better, okay, guys? Um, and then I can't even... I don't even, I can't even imagine how much more you'll get if you're tier 8. I'm only tier 6. Um, yeah, I could go in the test room and, you know, test it out with max spec, I guess. Maybe that'll be... If you want to see that, let me know in the comments, guys. I read every comment. Videos every day. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to help me out, click that join button. Become a channel member. There's a lot of juicy members-only videos on my channel. For those that don't know, it's like being subscribed on Twitch. Five bucks a month, but it's YouTube. And you get access to private, more personal videos. You get access to videos that are too damn good for the public. Exploits, cheats, uh, money-making things that I will never share with the public ever. So I think it's my worth it. Only only do it to support me though. If you if you don't don't do it because you want some some cheat codes, okay? Don't do that. Do it because you like me and enjoy my content and you want to help me out because you're a rich college kid that has a fancy office job and makes over a hundred thousand a year, okay? And there's a lot like apparently the mo most the majority of you that join my Discord are that, okay? Speaking of, uh, there's a link to the Discord in the in the description. So if you want to play games with me, if you want to run group dungeons. I'm full 83 healer, DPS tank. I'm needing people to play with. I need I need a freaking army. Okay? I need a fr like I just pulled 3 tier 5 of uh, these guys. How much is that even worth? Uh and then two seaweeds. So that's 9k and then two seaweeds. You know, that puts that's that's 9.5k in in one one little mini game. Okay? Yeah, sure. You you could harvest more elsewhere. I know. I know, you can go skinning and you can get like 5 Impalas and make 10k, but whatever. Okay, it, it's still better than nothing. It's still good. Guys, on screen right now is a video that you should absolutely, absolutely click. Okay, and uh, it's a good one. Google knows it's a good one. It's never wrong about these things, so go ahead and click that video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. I'll see you later, guys.